Be sure to check out Watch Mojo's new series, The Worst Travel Show. Click the link below to see all the episodes and follow the show on Facebook. If laughter is the best medicine, then these celebrities could heal the world. That's what we're instructed to say. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 famous people who should do stand-up comedy. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're taking a look at famous people that can bring the laughs, but have never done any official stand-up shows or tours. Donald Trump's tweets will make you laugh, they'll make you cry, but mostly they'll make you cry. Number 10, Barack Obama. I, why don't you ask her whether she thinks I'm a nerd? Cue the dad jokes. It's no secret that the former president can command a room with a microphone, but this commander-in-chief has a reputation for bringing some humor to the White House. From memorable late-night TV appearances to some major dad jokes. The Secret Service, uh, no matter what you do, do not let him out. <laughs> this politician always knows how to charm an audience with his corny humor. President Obama made the White House Correspondents' Dinner into must-see TV thanks to his perfect joke delivery and lightning-fast wit. He's even had some memorable viral videos, notably when he threw shade at Between Two Ferns host Zach Galifianakis in 2014. What is it like to be the last black president? Seriously? What's it like for this to be the last time you ever talk to a president? Here's hoping the former president finds a second career in comedy. And with that, I just have two more words to say. Obama out. Number nine, Emma Stone. So, what are you doing tonight? There's no doubt that this Oscar winner has had a meteoric rise. The A-lister has proven to have some serious acting chops in her young career, but the talented actress can also deliver the laughs. Her career started with several memorable roles in teen movies, where she showed off her impressive comedic timing. As SNL host more than once, she's shown that she can nail a live comedic monologue. I play Spider-Man's girlfriend, Gwen Stacy, who is a dynamic and brilliant science student. Not to be confused with Spider-Man's other girlfriend, Mary Jane Watson, who is a skank and doesn't love him like I do. Her epic Tonight Show lip-sync battle further cemented her status as one of Hollywood's funniest leading ladies. And every time I step up in the building, everybody Though we foresee more Oscars in our future, we're still holding out hope for a stand-up special. Coming, coming. <laughs> wow, this is a little too far right there. Number eight, Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> is there anything The Rock can't do? The strong man made a seamless transition from the sports world to Hollywood after an illustrious career in the WWE. He may no longer be talking smack, but he's been dominating the silver screen with his effortless comedic chops. That sounds like a challenge. And his funny side has not gone unnoticed. He entered the coveted SNL Five Timers Club in 2017. It's easy to see stand-up being yet another success in his storied career, but we think this talented big man has bigger fish to fry. A presidential run, perhaps? You ask the question why, I think it's because, you know, a lot of people want to see a different leadership today, or I'm sorry, not different, but a better leadership today. Number seven, Anna Kendrick. You're too white to be rocking out to that song. Don't judge a book by its cover. This pint-sized actress may look innocent, but she's known for her crass and hilarious personality on Twitter. It's going down. Uh... Major Black Street, the homies got Abby Collab Creations bump like acne. Her everyday musings and approachable humor would surely translate well from social media to a real stand-up set. The Pitch Perfect star can also bring the funny on screen, and she's played a number of adorable leading roles. I can't concentrate on anything you're saying until you cover your job. Her comedic resume also includes some laugh-tastic late-night interviews. Naked selfie your life away. I, like, go do your thing, but clean your room. We can't help but root for this mumblecore master to throw her hat into the stand-up ring. Number six, Chrissy Teigen. I'd like you to say to me all the things that you'd like to do to Amy in bed. Some people have it all. This model and television host catapulted to fame with her stunning beauty and marriage to singer-songwriter John Legend. But this mega beauty isn't just about looks. She's also downright hilarious. From her endearing talk show appearances to her fun-filled lip-sync battle hosting gig, this pretty lady knows how to steal the spotlight. She's even gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with stand-up comedian Amy Schumer. You sound like a real ass right now. You know what, I actually was a model, but now I'm a clinical social worker and I really love it. The talented Tegan has also gained a strong social media following thanks to her ultra-funny tweets. We'd follow this funny lady anytime. 
Number 5. Chris Pratt Oh, will you shut up about that? Before he was Star-Lord, this leading man was Pawnee's very own Andy Dwyer. For years, he was known for playing a lovable and doughy goofball on Parks and Recreation. You pull a car over for speeding, you find out that it's your father. How do you handle the situation? Well, first, I would be like, Dad? You're alive? The funny man was known for his improv skills, highlighted by a blooper reel for the ages. Though he shed the weight and moved on to become a blockbuster star, the charming actor still keeps it real on Twitter. His hilarious and relatable tweets have helped him amass over four and a half million followers. And the wall, I, I worked on that wall. I built it stone by stone with my bare hands. Do they call me Peter the Wall Builder? No, but you one pig. Many fans may even be surprised to learn that Pratt has never taken to the stand-up stage. For now, a Parks and Rec binge will have to tide us over. I'll just divorce you and marry someone else and then cheat on them with you. <laughs> oh, it's so sweet. Number four, Mark Hamill. What else would you expect from the guy who's voiced the Joker? You really should loosen up, dealer. Have a laugh now and then. Hamill is best known for playing farm boy turned Jedi Luke Skywalker but he could easily trade in his lightsaber for a microphone thanks to his quick wit and an impeccable sense of comedic timing. <laughs> Which was no doubt honed by the years he spent portraying the clown prince of crime. He's also a gifted storyteller, and whether he's making an appearance on a talk show or at a convention, fans are always in for a treat. If you like this video, then you probably won't hate WatchMojo's newest show, The Worst Travel Show, hosted by me, Kyle Gatehouse. Click this link below to watch it on Facebook. I can't wait to be famous. Number three, Jennifer Lawrence. And then I come out and wave to the audience like, oh, hi. <laughs> Don't let her roles fool you. J-Law may be known for playing notorious brooder Katniss Everdeen in the Hunger Games franchise, but there's no denying her real-life charisma. I volunteer! I volunteer! The Oscar-winning actress has had a string of hilarious interviews on everything from award shows to late-night TV. And then my friend walked by and I grabbed her and I was like, oh, this is Elizabeth Taylor! And she was like, no, it's not. The always candid actress isn't afraid to use her dry sense of humor to get a laugh. She's also a master in self-deprecation, which was on full display after her fall at the Oscars in 2013 we would volunteer as tribute to get a chance to see her perform stand-up. I spend the whole time going, what? What? <laughs> uh, he makes me look like the old one. Number two, Neil Patrick Harris. The season's new recruits include the cast of Kinky Boots, you know, they're beautiful and buff as Navy Seals. NPH may have brought the laughs as notorious Lothario Barney Stinson in How I Met Your Mother, but this funny man has never actually performed a stand-up set. You know, I've always wondered why those tweed jackets have elbow patches. Because the people who wear them are constantly going, ah, oh, geez, why can't I get laid? The ever-talented actor has proven to be funny whether he's on a sitcom, award show, or just hanging around with his pals Harold and Kumar. Can we get going? I'm bored as shit back here. There's no doubt that he would be a welcome addition to the world of comedy, as he's already patented a number of catchphrases. One thing's for sure, an NPH stand-up set would be legend, wait for it, dairy. We're raring to go, let's make it bigger. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. But I'm told you also do a Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> Oh, no, it's a big sea monster. <laughs> and I talked to him. I said, are you going to go paragliding? He goes, no, 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 <laughs> no. Number one, Ryan Reynolds. Cool. Yes, yes, sir. Then we're done. It's no secret that this actor is a comedy king. The always game actor has played everything from a chubby loser in the friend zone to a foul-mouthed superhero. I love you, Chris. <laughs> Like a brother. <laughs> Fans need not wait for a stand-up set to see more of his funny side. That's why Regina rhymes with fun. All they have to do is head to Twitter, where they can see his hilarious tweets on fatherhood and life in LA. Many fans think a transition into stand-up is long overdue, especially given his consistently hilarious late-night TV appearances. I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna write, I'm gonna write a book that's, that's called uh, Daddy Loves You 10% More. Somebody get this guy a microphone. Leave the book in her general direction again and you will learn in the worst of ways that I have some hard spots too. That came out wrong.
Hey, this is Kyle Gatehouse, host of Watch Mojo's new series, The Worst Travel Show. Click the link below to watch it on Facebook. For more great videos published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.